Welcome drivers to Swag Fails. From horrifying plane crashes to plane collisions, a series of dramatic, dangerous and expensive situations caught on camera are awaiting for you in today's video. Share your knowledge and skills to become a talented and a safe pilot. The video shows a novice pilot trying to ride a helicopter parked on a small helipad. However, things take an unexpected turn when the pilot loses control of the chopper. On September 23, 2017, in Clearwater Air Park Airport in Florida. A single-engine aircraft Piper PA-28R-201 and a helicopter Robinson R-22, they collided in the air over the runway. Both pilots and passengers on the plane were not seriously injured. That escalated quickly and it de-escalated even quicker. A $100 million Lockheed Martin F-35 jet crashed during a test fight at Fort Worth, Texas on December 15, 2022. The plane hovered before bouncing on the runway and nose diving to the ground sending smoke into the air. The pilot then ejected safely from the F-35. The plane was intact. The cause is unknown at this time, but it seems that the error lies in the engine. Monday, January 6, 2020. In Tacuna, Indonesia, a helicopter hit several cars and lifted into the air, one of them during the landing off. The process was particularly difficult because of the very strong wind. Fortunately, the pilot managed to regain control of the helicopter, which eventually landed without anyone being injured. occurred February 12, 2020. The freeway was closed for several hours after the single-engine Belenka Viking plane landed on I-35W, just north of St. Paul, Minnesota. The cause of the incident was due to engine failure, forcing an emergency landing. In the Russian city of Balashika, an Antonov AN-2, the world's largest twin-engine aircraft, crashed while performing aerobatics. The incident occurred during an exhibition dedicated to the 70th anniversary of this model. On November 12, 2022, during an air show in Dallas, two planes collided and crashed to the ground, a P-63 fighter and a B-17 bomber. It seems that the P-63 pilot violated the basic rules for information flying. The risk of collision is very high when you cannot see who you will be in the same formations as that type of participation is not allowed. With the constant speed of the propeller, that gives the impression that the propeller is stationary or almost motionless. But on the other hand, it is rotating in multiples of thousand revolutions. But he still ended up losing control of the plane during taking off. Oh. 
April 18, 2021, in Florida, United States. The pilot of Groom Man TBF Avenger made a forced landing on water during the 2021 Cocoa Beach Air Show when his engine failed. This is the shocking moment of a passenger plane crashes at Mogadishu International Airport. It skidded hard on the runway in Somalia as the pilot tried to land the plane. The incident is believed to have been caused by a faulty landing gear. All 30 passengers and 4 crew members on the plane are believed to have survived. Corte of Alada Port and the French Alps can be a challenging airport to land. You can only land in one direction. It appears that he is coming in too fast and too high. He lands very late and has no room to stop. I'm not sure if the pilot was familiar with the airport or he was even checked out to land there, but luckily everyone survived. Footage of a light aircraft taken off late at the end of the runway and water cross and Gustavia St. Barthelemy. Here, not only is the runway short, but is also very steep due to the large hill located at one of the end of the runway. The other end has water. Pilots do not always get it right. Pilots need special training to land there. This is the moment of a US pilot and his crew cheat death after their Apache helicopter crashes in Afghanistan. It appears to have clipped the top of a building, causing the pilot to lose control. Luckily, no one on the ground was injured, and both crew members survived. A small plane crashed on a highway northwest of Atlanta, Georgia. The police said that the pilot served the guide wire and power lines during the emergency landing. On August 24, 2023, the Air Antlers Express DHC-6 landed at St. Barthelemy Airport, France, veered to the left of the runway and crashed into a parked Eurocopter AS-350 Ick Royal Helicopters. Okay. I think it is a pilot error. He hasn't gotten used to the controller yet. Anyway, fortunately, no one was injured. But it seems quite expensive to repair. Enhanced 1944 footage from France shows a US WWII plane crashed on a snowy runway, hitting another aircraft. A In November 1996, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 961 was taken over by three men. The plane crashed, landed due to engine problems. The F-117 Nighthawk suffers mid-air destruction during the Chesapeake Air Show. How did that kind of declaration happen? It literally went from 300 miles per hour to zero. Wing spar was not properly installed, causing the wing to separate. Maybe the truck driver fell asleep for a few seconds. This nap seems quite expensive. The collision caused damage to the rear of the fuselage. Temporarily shutting down for inspection and repair.
Looks like the tail rotor drive train failed. If you use a crane instead of a plane, do you think the cost will be cheaper and will it be safer? It seemed like something went wrong with the engine, causing the helicopter to almost fall vertically. All the pilot's efforts were in vain, although the weather conditions were not unusual. The sea surface was still in a calm state. Aircraft manufacturers have tried to fix that problem by designing the pilot out lane, flown by a computer. Overpass height is lower than surrounding obstacles, speed too slow, engine speed at idle and late application of turning force. This combination leads to collisions between aircraft and trees. It could have been a mechanical failure. Tail rotors are famous for giving out at just the most inappropriate times. They are full of mechanical stress points and wear points. The pilot might have decided to cut the power and auto rotate down. But luckily, they were all safe. At least they landed in shallow water. Everyone escaped safely. Remember, regularly check and maintain the engine to avoid unexpected problems. Wow, that is some high level incompetence right there. Oh no, my wheel! Why are you in such a hurry to get off the plane? Please make an emergency landing to avoid danger. Dude only had a mile of runway left. <laughs> I thought that was a natural fighter jet and was actually scared because a fighter jet fell would have been deadly. Holy crap. There is nothing wrong. The plane just has an empty leg and a backfire tune. It can be seen that the pilot was unable to stop at the end of the runway and crashed through the fence. That's why traffic for road vehicles and runways should not be close to each other. Luckily, everyone was safe. Do not worry, it was an autopilot. There were no people on board. Scientists and engineers just want to research the percentage of safety when a plane crashes. The plane was turned apart by a bridge that seems to be the fault of the plane carrier. Oh, okay, okay. Whoa! It crashed or what? Oh, it's crashed. Not failing to clap. Keeping it shallow to build airspeed, that's all. Wow, it's great to see the plane take off like that.
Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for new videos every day. Comment below, let us know your thoughts. See you again. Whoa. The plane's hydraulic system failed as it attempted to take off, causing it to skid off the runway. It seems that the authorities were too negligent in checking the system before taking off. An ice pack strong enough to hold a big ship as they had to land on a confusing small deck. Why not on the ice, just beside the ship? I don't even know. The headwind subsided, leading to loss of lift and subsequent stalling. The pilot was uninjured, but this SQ-2 was not so lucky. Flying a plane depends a lot on the wind. It appears that a loss of power to one motor of a mechanical failure of the control service may be partly to blame. Both engines extended on taking off, and then one engine suddenly stalled. Asymmetric thrust. I bet that freaked them people out. I know it's world me too. Yikes. Glad no one was hurt. What happened? Thank goodness you told us it was gone wrong, otherwise I'd never have known. Actually, looks quite cool, nice work, man. The engine failed just before the takeoff spin, followed by improper engine removal procedures leading to aerodynamic stand and loss of control. Luckily, the pilot was okay. That's not a fail. That's an amazingly good pilot and butter landing. Oh no, the landing really freaked us out. The jet engine suddenly lost power, or troubles on taking off may be the cause. Fortunately, the pilot parachuted out before the plane exploded. Wow, it's amazing to see a plane landing in the rain for the first time. Not fell into clamp, keeping it shallow to build airspeed, that's all.
Most aircraft problems are caused by engine failure, so the most important thing is to check and maintain your aircraft regularly, especially before taking off. On the surface, the runway appears to be shorter than that of a conventional aircraft carrier. My guess are issues with flaps or rudders, so they went offside. He landed completely outside of the runway touchdown zoom. After the middle point of the runway, he should have gone around long before that. Seems like rushing into flights isn't really his thing. It was the first time he flew a plane without an instructor. Landing a plane is much more difficult than flying it. I don't think that a parachute could hold a plane. At least that landing method minimizes the damage to the plane. Luckily, there were no people in that plane. We all know that Ryanair always has a hard time landing, but does this seem to be the case, right? It's really too dangerous when the pilot himself can't control it when preparing to take off. Here's your here's your first rut. He landed on no gear down. His props are all messed up. He's gonna crash. Anyone want to explain to me why they ever told they could make that emergency landing on such a small runway? That is dangerous and illegal. It should not be glorified. That's dangerous. He could have made that takeoff if he didn't start off making as much drag as possible. He may have been used to tell draggers with much power, but still. There's somebody still in the plane. Supermarine Spitfire MK VXI burns its fuel in a fiery exhaust flame, and the propeller did its job very well. The fire would have spread without the propeller. It seems the aircraft may not have been ready for taking off. They need to be more thorough in inspecting the engine operations. Fortunately, the two pilots timely ejected from the plane before it crashed into unoccupied vehicles at Waverly's parking lot. Oh my god! Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. A helicopter versus a car. You'd never think a car could cross the finish line first. The plane was hovering at an altitude of no more than 200 feet when a mechanical failure forced it to crash to the ground. One thing is for sure, the helicopter won't be back in service anytime soon.
The terrifying incident occurred because an engine crashed shortly after takeoff from North Barry Airport. So before taking off, check the engine and other systems to make sure they are operating properly. Before that, the plane was flying uncontrollably in the sky. It seemed like the engine had a problem and he couldn't control it. That's why airplanes need regular maintenance on engines and other components to ensure they are always in safe operating conditions. The girl driving the black SUV said she didn't see the plane or the stop sign painted on the sidewalk. I think a clearer and more specific warning is needed to warn drivers that the plane is about to land or to separate the two areas to avoid collisions. I hope everyone brought a change of underwear on that flight. Is there any way to rescue this stuck plane? That's dangerous! I'm assuming that's why a real ones cost billions of dollars. And that's why planes have chains that tie them to the ground when not in use. Oops! So close! It's glitch, obviously! What? What? Damn, that's low key smooth. Dude, only had a smile on wrong way left. Hmm, yeah, I'll just leave that right there. Drivers, I'm just going to go ahead and merge on over into the far lane now. <gasps> what happened?
What do they give nowadays? Extra peanuts? Guy on ground. Stop, 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 stop. I quit. Thank goodness, so glad to hear you survived. The plane did well to avoid hitting the cyclist. Thankfully, it just managed to swerve out of the way in time. So How cool! But I never thought rocket launches take place so close to where air traffic is. That sign probably said, no parking. Oh my gosh, the sudden crash of the plane really scared people. The plane did well to avoid hitting the cyclist. Thankfully, it just managed to swerve out of the way in time. Those pilots have balls of stills. Glad you all are okay. Spirit Alliance, you get what you pay for. Classic case of failure to launch. Oh, oh. If it fits, I sit. I wonder if you can afford trust one side and reverse the other. Would be so much fun. Yeah, it's so, it's so Very expensive. Fortunately, this plane landed successfully after a bit of trouble. Oh, oh my god. Why oh my it? god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you just hear him? I want to know. Do you want to test this mysterious plane once? <laughs> An aircraft carrier is a massive ship. Not some small prop plane. Wow. Dude might want to get his windshield replaced though. Ha ha ha. What? 
the f laying it all oh. <laughs> This landing was a surprise, man, but dude was in the wrong lane for the airport. Fortunately, airplanes nowadays are designed that way to take lightning strikes like it's nothing. The drift at the end though. Thanks, good passengers and cabin crew are okay. It's scary to see with your own eyes a plane engine on fire, but fortunately, everyone got out of the ill fated plane. Imagine seeing your valuable fall from 30,000 feet. <laughs> I predict this will be on inside edition. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for new videos every day. Comment below, let us know thoughts. See ya! Hello, welcome to Swike Fails Supercar Fails channel. Swike Fails Supercar Fails is a channel that brings you traffic failure situations on the road, racetrack, and anywhere. If you're a big fan of supercar fails, crash car compilation, and incredible traffic situation caught on dashcam, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Wish you have relaxing moments on the channel Swike Fails Supercar Fails. Goodbye and see you in our latest video. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood but then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that God can heal it all if you're patient and soon it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning